Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. If you want to see how I created this hand painted chrome glitter design, just keep watching. So first off, I'm starting off with a set of Apre Gel X Nail System extensions. If you want to see how I did these, I have a video on these exact nails. I will link it in the description box. So I'm starting off with Mamma Mia Gel Colour from Magpie Beauty. And I am applying one layer of this to two of my nails. These are going to be my glitter nails. So I'm applying one reasonably medium layer of this to those nails making sure I've got full coverage I will then be applying glitter over top so it doesn't have to be two layers because the glitter will cover most of the color so you don't need to worry too much if it's not full coverage but this magpie gel color pretty much covers full in one coat so I'm going in and doing this onto the second nail after I finish painting these two nails I will cure it in my lamp for 30 seconds now normally magpie gel color Colors are a 60 second full cure but I like to cure for a half cure of 30 seconds to leave them a little bit more sticky so that when you go in with the glitter the glitter sticks a lot better the glitter I'm going to be using is Magpie Glitter in Rose. This is one of their slightly more chunky mixes. It is holographic and beautiful. I'm going to be using the Magpie Glitter applicator brush to apply the glitter on. And just look at that sparkle. So I'm dipping in the pot just like this. And I thought I'd see what it looked like just slightly sprinkled on. So I'm just tapping my brush to lightly sprinkle some on. And you could just leave it like that with a subtle sprinkling. But I wanted full coverage. So I'm gently going over and dabbing my brush onto the nail because this glitter has those bigger particles I want those bigger particles to stick if you were to burnish this on and rub you would flick those bigger particles off so in order to keep them stuck I'm just patting my brush lightly over the nail and laying those glitter pieces down flat and that is what this looks like I'm doing it to both the nails that I've painted with a gel polish and then I'm gonna go in with another magpie glitter and it is a slightly finer glitter and it's called Erin. It is the same similar colour to Rose but it is a finer version and it is still holographic. So I'm just using my brush and dabbing it over the top and this is going to fill any little gaps and make it super sparkly. Look how stunning that is. This combination looks so pretty together and it just gives it that extra finish of sparkle. Look at that close up just love sparkle so now I'm using the magpie glitter duster brush and I'm using this to flick away any unwanted excess glitter we don't want this on there because when we top coat we don't want the glitter going into our top coat so by doing this you're getting rid of any of that excess glitter after dusting off I am going to put my hand back into the lamp for another 30 seconds to finish off that full cure and that's what these guys look like before going in with top coat the top coat I'm going to be using is the new Shine Bright top coat from Magpie. It is a thicker viscosity top coat. It is a white top coat so you do need to cleanse this after you apply it. But I'm in love with it compared to their other top coat. This is a, again, thicker viscosity so it makes it really super easy to apply. And I just did one layer of this. I did one generous layer of this over the two glitter nails and it completely encapsulated those glitters in. I'm just going to show you from the side view so you can see how smooth it is just with one coat I love this top coat so going in and just applying that same top coat on the other nail as well I will then cure it in my lamp for a full cure of 60 seconds and those nails are all done they look absolutely beautiful look at that holographic okay onto the chrome nails we're going in again with hold up look at this hair anyone else have this issue that's what you get for having two dogs and a cat Ugh. Anyway, painting your nails with one coat of the Mama Mia gel colour again. Just need the one coat, so applying that to my two chrome nails. Curing that for 60 seconds, and now I'm going in with the chrome top coat, which is Don't Be Tacky. This top coat is specifically for using when you're using a chrome powder. So I'm applying a floaty layer of this and waiting for it to self level. You'll see little divots in the nails before you cure it. So you need to let them self level and then give your nail a 60 second cure. I'm going in with Rosetta Chrome from Magpie Beauty and I'm using a eyeshadow applicator brush and applying this to the nail and rubbing it in. You can be pretty vigorous with this and give it a good old rub and just look how beautiful that color is. I don't know about any of you guys, but I love watching chrome being applied. 
it's so satisfying and this chrome is so beautiful and so mirror finish you can see my light in the reflection and i'm pretty sure you can see my face at some points as well it's absolutely beautiful so i've given that a good rub in i'm then going to be using a buffing block and i'm going to very gently go over the edges of my nails the free edge by doing this you're getting rid of the chrome right on the end and it's going to help with stay power i've then dusted off any excess chrome powder and i'm going in with one layer of give me strength which is a thicker viscosity stronger gel from magpie and then curing that for 60 seconds and then i'm going in with a final layer of shine bright top coat from magpie beauty and the trick with this is to make sure you really cap your free edge and round those sides so take extra time with that now i'm going in with a hand painted nail so i'm using fanny annie magpie gel color and I'm applying two coats of this to my middle nail, curing for 60 seconds between each layer. This colour is such a beautiful nude. It's a really nice, pretty pink pale nude and really super full coverage as well. So going in, making sure I get right up around close to that cuticle epinicium area, getting a nice, nice application. Once I've cured that in my lamp, I'm then gonna go in and start doing the hand-painted design. Unfortunately, my camera was having a little bit of a mess when I filmed this video, so unfortunately it didn't film the first bit of hand painting, but all I did was create this simple triangle. I dotted three points, lined it up and filled it in with black gel polish. I used the Magpie Beauty Striper Brush for all of the hand painting nail art of this, and I'm using Magpie Gel Color Black Betty for all of the black design. So as you can see here I'm just mirroring the shape we've already created with two lines and I've left this bit in real time for you so you can see exactly how fast I'm working, how I'm using the brush. So just going in really lightly and doing two lines mirroring the shape that we've already got on our nail, that's why it's really easy because you can follow that as your guideline, bringing it down to a point in the center and joining them together and that is the first step. On to the next bit, I'm using my black gel colour just to mark up where I want my lines to finish. By doing this, you can see on each side of the nail, I've got a line to work with. I know exactly where I want the points to end. And unfortunately, my camera did play up again and it is out of focus. I'm really sorry, guys. Technology is just not my friend these days. So now going in with my brush, doing the other side, I do like to turn my hand around. It makes it so much easier. So if you're doing this on a client's nail, turn their hand around to make your life easier and I've just put on those two lines there going in with the second line and I'm using the lines that we've already created on the nail to help guide me with all the following shapes another thing to point out I am flash curing throughout the whole process so after each step I'm going to flash cure in my lamp for a good 10 to 15 seconds just to hold those in place so they're not going to go anywhere so if I do make a mistake I can wipe it off and it won't budge the rest of the design so just going in again using the lines that I've already made to help make my life easier in creating all the other shapes I'm going in with and I'm just filling this last little bit here in with black gel colour and then I will just mirror this on the other side of the nail also just want to quickly mention all products that I've used in today's tutorial I'll leave a link in the description box down below so if you want to know where to find them all links will be in the description box the next bit I'm just using the black gel polish again and we're just sticking with the black getting all the lines done and all the black done first and I'm just doing another solid black arrow slash triangle kind of shape I'm not very good with shapes so if you know what shape this is please let me know 
but I'm just using my brush to fill in those gaps. You don't have to be very neat with this because we are going to be going in with some rose gold gel mixed with the chrome in a minute, which will neaten it all up. So I'm just going in, take your time with this. Another thing that really helps when doing fine lines is coating your brush evenly with the gel polish and then wiping away some of the excess product so you've got a fully coated brush but with not clogged up with loads of product. So I'm just going in and adding a few more lines at the bottom edge of the nail using the arrows and the lines that are already painted on as my guide. And that is the black done. You could totally just leave it like this, but I'm gonna do a little bit more. So I'm making a mix of Shine Bright and the Chrome Rosetta, and I'm getting it on one of my little triangle trays, and I'm mixing it up equal parts and this is the consistency it should look like. You can adjust the mix to your preference. And unfortunately, my camera didn't record me doing the rose gold bit. So I'm just showing you here, really simple. You just go through with your brush and fill in some of the lines. You can fill in wherever you want. This is where I chose to do it. Once I finished the design, I fully cured it for 60 seconds and then went in with a coat of Shine Bright Top Coat to finish off the nails. And there you have it. They are all done. Sorry about the filming issues today's video. Hopefully next time my camera will be back working properly. But yeah, I really enjoyed creating these. I love how they turned out. Let me know what you think of them in the comments down below. Don't forget to head on over to my Instagram, Isabel May Nails, to follow me there. I do lots of live videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!